Oi, welcome to Cook and Vibe, people. My name is M. The R. This is Cook and Vibe. This is season nine, and these are some tomahawk steaks. Yes, my people, that is what we're doing today. Tomahawk steaks, but we're doing it Argentinian style. <laughs> Yes, people, we're going to do it Argentinian style, proper, churrasco style, you understand? And also, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do some potatoes as well with, with some chimichurri sauce and stuff like that. And also, we're going to be doing, we've got some black carrots. Yes, some black carrots and we've got some mushrooms to go with it as well, people. You see me? So it's a good vibes, man. We've got the tamahawk steaks there. And we're going to start seasoning them with the Argentinian steak rub. Hoy. Hoy, hoy, people. So here we've got our steaks, our tomahawk steaks. And this is what we're going to be using today. Yeah, Argentinian churrasco rub. You get me? So basically inside this, churrasco rub. Yeah, people. Churrasco rub. That's what's inside it. So obviously we've got two so we can do each steak. So that's first. We're just gonna season it with this churrasco rub, Argentinian churrasco rub, and then basically at the end of it, this chimichurri glaze is gonna go on right at the end. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be seasoning with today, people. Yeah, man. Yeah. Get that seasoning on there, people. Why oi. That is it, people. Go for the rub on this side as well. You get me, and what we're gonna do is just gonna dash some down the side there. So when we rub this in, and we make sure that we cover all the meat, and then you see that part there, people, we can just, you understand? Yeah, Kaya, after season up the thing proper, my G, you understand? Rub that around there and get that all rubbed in and all that crevice in there and everything that even on the back part there, people, got some seasoning there to deal with that, you understand? But yeah, we're nearly done seasoning, people. As you can see, we've got the steaks there. Churrasco rub, it's a good look. Hoi! All right, next stage, people. So we've got our, our steaks marinated. They've been marinated for about 45 minutes, our tomahawks. Do you know what I'm saying? So next, we're gonna deal with some potatoes. You get me? Yeah, we're going to deal with some potatoes next. What we're going to do is just going to chop them in half and boil them normal in normal water and get the sauce ready to go on them afterwards. Do you know what I mean? Yes, people. So we're just going to cut them up and boil them first. people so the potatoes are on the boil right now we're gonna deal with these black carrots look at these crazy isn't it black carrots i've never seen them before wonder what they're gonna taste like but yes yeah, so we're gonna chop these up and we're gonna chuck these in with the potatoes do you know what i'm saying quick and fast yes people so let's chop up the oh my days look at that look at that people completely black inside that is crazy look let's just chop up one of them but this is what we're gonna just like i said we're just gonna chuck this to boil with the potatoes do you know what i'm saying yes people are ready to chuck them in crazy there's all different types of color carrots you know people all different types of color carrots but yeah, these black ones, I've never seen these before. Interesting. Look at that, people. It's completely changed the color of the water. Crazy, eh? So that's gonna give a nice little mad color to our potatoes as well. Yeah, madness. Why, oi, people, let's get these steaks on the go. We've got some olive oil in there. So let's slap this first one in. Oi. Yes, we, oh, I'm hoping that we can, we can fit both in there. It should be. Oh, there we go. 
Lovely jubbly people. Steaks are in there. Woyoy tamahawk. Yes, people. So we just want to cook them nice and slowly because they're big steaks and we want to make sure everything's cooked inside. Do you know what I'm saying? But everything I've gone, we've got the boiling potatoes in there with the black carrots and we've got so the, the steaks are running. You get me? It's our good vibes today, people. Right now, we're going to deal with the chimichurri sauce for the potatoes when they're done. Zima Dewey. Yeah, man. Today, people, tomahawk steak. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Why are you? Yes, people. So this is the ingredients for our chimichurri homemade sauce that's going to go with the potatoes. So we've got some parsley. Yeah, we've got some garlic cloves. We've got a red scotch bonnet. They used to say use a red chilli, but you don't know, say a scotch bonnet we are work with. Uh, oregano, oregano, olive oil. Yeah, we've got a little basil infused one. And um, all we're gonna add is some salt as well. Uh, you're supposed to add some red wine vinegar, but we ain't got that, so we're just gonna run with this right now, people. Yeah, man, chimichurri. Yes, people, man, are good vibes. Tamahawk steak, we do, we're doing big meats at the moment, you notice? See the big ox tail the other day? Yeah, man. So right now we're going to do the chimichurri sauce, right? So we've got, um, we've got all our stuff here. So first of all, we're going to chop up the parsley, just like that. Our good vibes. Yeah. Dash that in there. And then we're going to deal with our garlic. We do, we're putting three cloves in because these are quite big anyway, people. You get me? There we go. Easy way to easy way to do garlic, people. Right, and then chop it up. Simple. Just like that. You get me? So we're going to chop up the rest of the garlic. Get that inside there. And then we're going to chop up the pepper and then we're going to add the rest of the stuff. Wait, wait. Now we've got that in there, we're just going to add a little bit of salt. Yeah, we're going to add some oregano now. Yeah, and then we're going to add the olive oil, people. That goes in next. Lovely. Good bit of olive oil we want in there, people. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're just going to give this a mix around now, people. As you can see. And this is going to go on to our potatoes. Nicely there, people. You get me? Oi. Ready up for the potatoes. Yeah, man. Steak is cooking. Carrots are cooking. Potatoes are cooking. Yeah, man. We can chuck the mushrooms in right at the end because they don't take too long. Oh. Yes, people, now I've had them cooking for about 15 minutes. So what? I, I, I've turned up the heat a little bit now. Now we're gonna turn the heat up a little bit. You get me? Remember, they're big steaks, people. We're gonna give it a few minutes more on that side. We've already turned it over. We've already done that, but we're gonna, um, remember we're gonna glaze it as well. So yeah, we're nearly at the glazing stage, people. You see me? What yo? What yo? People, we've got a big announcement. We have got a new section to the show. Yes, that's right. We've got a new section to the show, people. All right, big up Grim Sickers. Yeah, I saw this on his Instagram and stuff. Basically, Grim Sickers takes pictures of food that don't look that good and he rates them. And it is so, so funny, people. Had to get him involved. Do you get me? So big up Grim Sickers. Make sure you go follow him on Instagram and TikTok. The links are in the description below. This is the brand new segment of the show, people. Sickers, rate my plate. Yo, 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 it's that time of the show. It's the greatest show of all time. Sickers, rate my plate. M to R. Show them the levels. Goodness gracious me. Caribbean, he said. Flip it out. My next door neighbour Daniel's more Caribbean than that. He's an eighth Jamaican. Bleed. Look at 
Who's ever seen rice and peas with half an onion in it, bro? You've got about 20 half an onions sticking out, bro. That chicken, do you know what? They look like frogs. That is frog and rice, bro. And don't be too shy on the coleslaw. Bloody hell, I can't even see it with the mosaic plate. Where is it? It's in the safari. Jesus Christ. The most Caribbean thing you've got on that is that red stripe, bro. I swear to God. Horrible. Turtle Bay stuff, bro. And I'll probably go Turtle Bay and eat this. Awful. Hoi, people. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Otherwise, your fingernails will go rusty and crusty and fall off. Hoi, hoi, people. Right, we are nearly ready for the next stage. So, as you can see, inside there, it's just cooked. Like, literally, even if you see that side, it's a little tiny, tiny bit pink just down the bottom. Just down the bottom there but that's pretty much nearly cooked as you can see people so now is the next stage of what we're going to do ah oh, look at these people looking lovely so the chimichurri glaze is going to go on next people so we've got enough for each one but oh look they're looking lovely in there people so what we're going to do is we're just going to because it's quite sticky we're just going to get it off like that and then kind of paste it across as so, you know what I'm saying, people? Why, why? We're glazing now. Glazed. Look at that. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to glaze one side. We're going to put it in a pan and then we're going to glaze the other side because otherwise, if we turn that over, it's just going to stick to the board. Do you know what I mean? So, that's what we're going to do. Back in the pan on the glazed side. Now, like I said, people, now we're going to glaze this side. Now it's in there cooking. We're getting the car. We don't want the other bit to stick, so let's glaze up these ones here, people. Why, oi! Argentinian style steaks, people. Argentinian style tomahawks. It's not a joke. Gonna be honest with you. It's not a joke today, people. Our good vibes. Why, oi! All right, people, we don't want to cook that too long on this side now. We're never glazing. Just a couple minutes on each side now, and we're ready to go. Hoi. Oi, oi, people. Yes. Slap that there. These are done. Let's slap that there nicely. Oi, oi, people. Chuck the mushrooms in the same pan as where the steak was. Bun them up quick and fast. Look at these babies. Oi! Come on there, people, hit that like button. Argentinian glazed steaks. Tamahawk steaks. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah, man. Now look at this, people. Look at the color of our potatoes. From the carrots, they're done nicely. You get me? So they're ready to go. These are ready to go in there. I just wanted to show you the color of them. Dash our couple carrots in there, but that's cool. See all that in there? Color of our potatoes, all with the chimichurri sauce. And what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna get a plate and just get them mixed around all nicely in there, people. And then all we're gonna do, take off that. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful they look, people. The color from the carrots and all the chimichurri sauce, the parsley and the garlic and the olive oil, wow. Gosh, we got our steaks again, looking sexy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Carrots, then. Ready up. Mad thing. So now, all we've got to do is wait for our mushrooms and we're good to go. The showdown. Wow. Look at them. Look at them uh, mushrooms all glazed in the, 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 the sauce that was on the, um, the steaks there. Carrots. Look at that, man. It's a mad thing, people. Yeah, man. Tamahawk steaks. Chimichurri potatoes.
with mushrooms, glazed, and carrots. Yeah, man, a good vibes, people. Ah, oh, look how lovely that is cooked, people. Really nice and soft. Look at that, isn't it? There's my final plate, people. Carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, steak. I took the nice rib bit there. It's a man thing, do you know what I'm saying? Why you are here? Taste time, people, let's go. Argentinian ta tamahawk steaks with chimichurri, potatoes, mushrooms, and carrots. Yes, people, why you are Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm gonna go straight in. Lovely, beautiful colored um, potato. Ten ten that fresh garlic, parsley, mmm, everything. It's tasting good in there. Carrots. Let's taste these. Mmm. It tastes different. It actually tastes different. Yeah. Let's try these um, mushrooms that was glazed in the chimichurri glaze. Mmm. Got like a burnt flavour, but a glazed flavour. Showdown, yeah. The tamahawk steak. Mmm. That glaze and that rub is different. We gotta do it. That is it. You see me cooking back? Yeah. Mm. That is amazing, that rub. That Argentinian style steak is 10-10. Mm. Mm. Yeah! You know how jing works, people. Big up section. We'll see you next time. Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You don't know where I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Why you all people? Welcome to the Big Up section. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Yeah, man, just do the right thing. If you can, subscribe. And if you can, leave a comment in the comment section. Press the like button. You're done now. I did things, it, man. I hope you enjoyed the new section. I hope you enjoyed the new segment. Sick as rate my plate. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that. Why you This week's Big Up. Big Up. Pi Pi UK 5366. He says, genuinely great camera work by Junior. Why, why, Junior? Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. Because you don't know, say, it's a family thing as well, you know, people. You don't know, say, we all family. All of us, all the cooking vibers and, and everyone's involved at a certain point. You understand? We have to get the kids involved and the missus involved and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Also, big up Shahadel Shah 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 619 says, love to see M. explore more of the Jamaican influence in the UK. Yeah, um, if you enjoy certain things, I'll keep doing it. No problem, man. No problem at all. Uh, there's some other spots I'm definitely going to make you see. So um, I'll get it done. Yeah, man. You're done doing the things that quick and fast. Why, people? This was Cook and Vibe. I was M. See you next time. Hoi.